Carson, NFL free agent, Ruben Gladiator, University of Maine, B, defensive back. Superior athletics, baby. That's another day at the office. Let's see what we got going on. Come in, you already got my boy Fonny Moment getting work. Another NFL free agent, Colin, and the man, the mastermind, Billy Ron, behind it all. Let's go. Coming from the University of Maine, they called us the land of misfits. <laughs> and to my guys, Jerome McMillan, Derek Session, Jeremy Kelly, Des Randall, Kev Fenor, Roosevelt Boone, and Pushan Brown. And I can't forget about my guy, Mo McDonald, man. Love you guys. Transition from college to NFL, and it's a big jump, you know, it's different. You know, your mindset of knowing that you're gonna be there for four to five years with a red shirt to NFL is becoming your job. I'm not saying college wasn't, but NFL, it's, you're here today, you're going tomorrow. So my first time, you know, it was, a, it was a shock because, you know, you're going to camp, you're going to practice, and you're playing already in front of three or 4,000 people just at practice alone. So the transition was great, you know, I got my mindset right, I focused up, and it wasn't really too much of a big change because of the school I came from, and we were well prepared for it. But you do notice some differences, you know, you notice the politics about the game, you notice certain players are good, and then you also know if you belong or not. And uh, I felt that I belonged, you know, I felt like when I got there I wasn't too far off from anybody, I was just as good as anybody, and I could play with anybody. People ask me what drives me. Simple, it's family. To my brother, my cousin, my mom, stepfather, father, little brothers. I just want them to know that if I succeed, they all succeed. And I want to inspire them the way they inspire me. My name is Billy Rom. I'm the director of performance at Superior Athletics in Farmingdale, New York. I've known Trevor for a, a long time now. You know, he always had talent. He always had the ability to do whatever he wanted on, on the sports field. You know, whether it was football, basketball, anything he pretty much tried, he was good at. Uh, kept in touch with him over a number of years through his college career and everything else. And uh, we began working together shortly after he got uh, released by the Chicago Bears. And uh, he had spent a couple of weeks after that, you know, a little down. But it was time for him to get back started and get to work and start working. And, uh, you know, built himself, came in, was working twice a day, six days a week getting better, working harder. And then he went to the Lions. He, he was ready, played great. Uh, was on first team, special team, he was killing it. A couple guys might have you know, faked an injury or two or did something else, and it's a business. And Trevor got released, came home, right to work. You know, this time it wasn't, hey, we're gonna you know, sit on our laurels, we're not gonna feel bad about ourselves. We get right back to work. And uh, he attacked it. And went after, he got to play in the FXFL, Led the game in tackles, had an interview with the Giants. Everybody loved him, but he didn't get signed. But he kept working, kept going after it, kept chasing after it. And he's been chasing after it every day, as often as he can, working as hard as he can. I train lots of athletes, and I've gotten to see professional athletes from a variety of different sports. And Trevor is special. And he's not just special because of his physical abilities, which are tremendous. Uh, it's also that he has personality, he has a drive, he has a connection that he has with other people that make everyone pull for him. Uh, we have athletes and kids here who see him work and are coached by him, and they love working with him because he brings out the best in them, because he is one of those special people because of how good he is. And uh, I know that he's going to have success now that he's finally back in the league. And I know that it's going to lead to bigger and better things because he deserves it. He deserves to have something special given to him. And it's coming. It's coming soon. My love for the game. This pick's game gave me pretty much a way out. You know, some people say it's a game. And it is. It's one of the greatest games ever. And it's funny, I have a tattoo on my arm. I have football on my hand now and my hand when I was a kid, representing me playing in my entire life. And you know, this place has taken me to places that I couldn't, oh, couldn't believe, couldn't imagine. And, you know, it's a blessing, I, you know. I'm more, than, I'm more than blessed to let this game take me to places and sightseeing, meeting new people, networking. And uh, I owe this game everything. 
know, a lot of people are interested in my tattoos. And one of my favorite quotes on my body is, no struggle, no progress. And you know, it's simple, a quote from Frederick Douglass, you know, without struggle, there's no progress. And I believe in it every day, you know, you're gonna go through your struggles, but if you don't sit down, let your struggles become your failures, and you're not gonna see the progress at the end of the day. So to all the kids watching, always remember, you will go through your struggles, but do not let that deteriorate you. Keep going, you will see progress, I promise you. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, click here. If you want to see more of me, click here.